guys is going on my name is Lewis and God bless every single one of you today is April 11 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates very important information coming out if you can please share this video so war news 24 7 post this article and it's very important to share this all UKR power generation facilities were hit the bear showed no mercy they dropped the hammer on the yellow and blue it says here give me a second so 8 May 31st hit a strategic target near the Polish border by firing an equal number look at this of hypersonic and they also use uh, cruise missiles now this is the largest Listen up. This is the largest use of hypersonic in a single strike, indicating that the target was of great strategic value. So this goes to tell you that this was uh, a very important operation. So the bear is really dropping a hammer on the yellow and blue. At the same time, you have the sleeping giant they are focusing on the middle e so it, it just really again nation against nations but uh yeah you have one land screaming for help the other land uh again the middle e uh is about to see multiple fronts and you guys already know the holy land is about to see uh all those proxy firing towards them meanwhile again the yellow and blue uh ukr they are screaming for help. They need equipment, money. And so right now, we're going to see what's going on here. The yellow and blue is getting hammered right now. So it says here, give me a second, guys. You have NATO forces stationed in Poland were immediately alerted while Polish Air Force's fighters took off mostly for formal reasons. Now, the way the bear struck was carried out is also of great interest. As the bear Air Force sounded the specific target from three sides as shown in the following map. The target was the, I'm going to skip that name, Strategic Underground Gas Storage Facility in that region. In the city of string, uh, stringing, stringing. Now it is home to the largest underground gas storage facility from the USS, you know what, era, with a capacity of 17 billion cubic meters, which uh, is more than half the capacity of all underground gas storage facility in the yellow and blue. This event under on this underground gas storage facility was confirmed by the yellow and blue company. I'm gonna skip that company name. The strike, in addition to causing serious long-term long-term gas supply problems for the yellow and blue, will also hamper the storage of European gas. So this is gonna put a big punch in their economy. Once again, the bear is taking out grid. The bear is taking out the infrastructure, and now the bear is impacting, once again, uh, underground gas storage facility. Like I said, this is weakening the yellow and blue. This is uh, hurting the yellow and blue without firing a nuke. All right, like I said, guys, the bear is showing no mercy. Give me a second here. It says the largest thermoelectric plant in the yellow and blue was destroyed. At the same time, the bear destroyed the yellow and blue largest thermoelectric plant. This is the blank thermal power station located 13 kilometers south of the yellow and blue country capital. Once again, this company... The gas company, Thermo Power Station, is the largest supplier of electricity in the regions. Now, the power station was built in 1972 and was one of the 
1,700 facility built in a USS, you know what, during a five-year plan. The yellow and blue energy company, DTEC, said that all power generation units of this uh, company thermal power plant are out of order. After the decommissioning, I'm going to skip that name there, of the power plant, the 1,800 MW thermal power plant was the largest power plant in the yellow and blue country capital region, supplying electricity to the yellow and blue country capital. And this is, uh, this is when uh, they are basically talking about outages. So you have uh, certain lands are sending equipments to try to fix all this ASAP. Um, so once again, there is multiple outages going on. Um, they're really, really putting a big punch in the yellow and blue country uh, underground gas storage supply. Uh, it says here, mass strike in the yellow and blue with some very powerful equipment. What other targets were hit? On the morning of April 11th, the Bear Army launched a large-scale strike against targets in the yellow and blue. Kharkiv was also impacted very, very hard. Actually, um, I want to bring this up really quick. Look at this. I want to show you something. So you had the leader, the leader of the yellow and blue, you know, the leader, Mr. Z. Look, um, the leader of the yellow and blue rushed to Kharkiv today. He rushed to Kharkiv with the military leadership to inspect the city's defenses after the British informed of an imminent surprise. The bear strike on the city by four army corps. So Mr. Z, the leader, he went out there. He rushed. Once again, he rushed out there to see uh, the situation. Again, like I said, the bear dropped the hammer on, uh, on those regions. On the morning of April 11th, the bear army launched a large scale strike against Target in the yellow and blue. Card cave was also hit very hard. Which were hit. Well, here we go, guys. This was a big operation. You see number 10? Pay attention to number 10. Because Emmanuel, you guys know Emmanuel, Macaroni Emmanuel, the leader of the you know what? He's going to send a whole bunch of uh, camouflage into that region pretty soon. He said it. Once again, it says here, at least 10 strike have been made. On the infrastructure of those regions problems with light have already been recorded look at this one here massive strike on a yellow and blue energy system during the night power interruption in regions hmm They're really, really impacting. Look at this map. Look at this. Look at this map. Those are the regions. Most of them is like, well, this western part is very important too, guys. Now you have to ask yourself, why is a bear hitting those territory? Well, there's a reason why. A lot of it is to cut communication. The yellow and blue country forces communicate with NATO forces. And so they take out infrastructure and cut off the communication. Also, there's been a lot of uh, stuff coming into this land, equipment. And, and so you have uh, the bear sending their planes and taking out facilities left and right. But this one here, when it comes to the underground gas storage, 
yeah, that's a whole different ball game. They really, really went after that one there. And uh, I do believe it's to weaken. It's to weaken. Um, um, I wouldn't say the yellow and blue country. Uh, again, because the bear is not going after the people. The bear is going after those uh, forces. Look at this map. There's a reason why the bear hit those regions. So this is uh, this is all the information. But let me take it to this one here, really quick. So, all right. So we done with that first article. But uh, let me just bring this one up. So the leader of the yellow and blue, Mr. Z, rushed to Kharkiv with is again with the military leadership to inspect the city's defenses after the British informed of an imminent surprise the bear struck on the city by four army corps. On the bear television, the issue of Kharkiv dominates. Will the bear struck on the city now take place? Question mark. And if so, what form will it take? The latest example is the statement of the general, I'm going to skip his name, a member of the Bear Duma, who spoke about the Bear plans to strike the region. It's not something easy. It is a big metro city. Why not go around town and block it? If we take Kharkiv, we will gain operational you know, freedom. We will ensure and have a direct path with the left bank of Niper. It's a small excerpt of what he said. So, once again, guys, this uh, this here is a major breaking news. Sadly, uh, no one no one knows about it. But uh, again, uh, this is a uh, again this is something that nobody expected. Um, and it seems like Mr. Z he's very concerned because I never seen him rush like that to Kharkiv or other regions. Usually, he's always out in uh, front of the cameras and this and that, but uh, this here was a, a big operation by the bear. Mr. Z went to Car Cave to see the progress of the work on the construction of fortification. Once again, Mr. Z, the leader of the Yellow and Blue, admitted that Car Cave occupies a central position in the meetings of the Yellow and Blue High Command. Maximum attention is now being paid to Car Cave. Today, I held a meeting at the headquarters where the main topic was Kharkiv. Visiting the defense project being built in this region, Mr. Z stressed that this zone is very, very important. We have to be prepared and the bear must see that we are ready to defend ourselves. I want our to know that the yellow and blue is prepared if the enemy strikes, he said, according to the yellow and blue presidency telegram account. All right, look at this. I mean, they got everything. I mean, they got dragon teeth there, <laughs> man. So, the fortification being built by the yellow and blue are a network of trenches. Look at all this stuff anti tank ditches and barriers. The so called dragon teeth, uh, they got a lot of stuff out there. A lot of booby traps, <laughs> man. Um, okay, so I'm gonna skip this one here too. But uh, yeah, it seems like yeah, the bear really dropped the hammer on the yellow and blue. And again, guys, like I said, uh, Mr. Z, uh, he was not expecting something like that. But uh, again, they're prepared. Uh, they're making sure that car cave. Is uh, his defense is up to date, but uh, again, the bear is too powerful, the bear is too strong. And the yellow and blue country they need funds, they need money, they need equipment in order to stop the bear. And you guys already know the bear cannot be stopped. 
and uh, we seen it last night actually early this morning they dropped the hammer on the yellow and blue anyway guys thank you so much for watching again one uh, again uh, latest breaking news updates on uh, nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom thank you so much for watching guys once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.